Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Jump Up Supercast Game Club. My name is Brandon, and joining me today, I have Ills. Um, this is like the best and the worst Kung Fu Panda game I've ever played. And Noah. Um, I hate Spade a lot. <laughs> All right, well, we played a game this week called Freedom Planet. Uh, this game was released on the, I guess on Steam first in 2014, uh, later to be released on the Wii U in 2015, uh, PlayStation 4 in 2017, and as recently as the Switch in 2018. Yep. So, been released on a bunch of platforms. Uh, this game is a 2D platform game, and was developed by Galaxy Trail, and published by Galaxy Trail as well. Uh, indie developers, uh, this is the first game they made. Uh, they're, as far as I know, actually, <laughs> I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the only game yeah. they've made so far. Uh, and they are working on a sequel. Mm -hmm. and um, famously started off as a Sonic the Hedgehog fan game. Yes, so yeah, get, Freedom Planet did start off as a Sonic the Hedgehog fan game. Uh, later, uh, released obviously uh, changed into its own IP uh, was uh, developed by uh, the, the designer his name is Steven and I don't know if I'm gonna mess up his last name uh, D Duro mm -hmm. uh, so he you know started off making a Sonic fan game early on in development decided uh, he wanted to make it its own thing uh, so he they released like a kind of a, like a, a demo on Steam and had a Kickstarter for this game as well Get a full I mean release. that makes sense because I mean like when you're making a fan game you know you can't make any money off it and you're putting all this work into it so right mm -hmm. yeah so obviously he's a, a big fan of Sonic the Hedgehog uh, so oh, you can easily see that yeah in the gameplay <laughs> yeah absolutely <laughs> and um, I, I always joke and like to call this game the Fifty Shades of Grey of video games <laughs> because uh, Fifty How Shades so? of, Fifty Shades of Grey started off as a Twilight fan oh yeah okay before. Yeah, yeah. The, the author decided I want, they want to make it its own thing. So uh, I always thought that was kind of In this case, it was the good fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, well, I don't know if all Sonic fan, fan stuff is good. I've seen some weird shit. Uh, I don't but, know if all soccer moms would agree with you. <laughs> uh, this, I would say, turned out very well. Uh, uh, yeah, gameplay-wise. Yeah, so it's, a, it's unique. It's its own IP, like we mentioned. And you play as... Um, Lilac, Lilac the Dragon, or uh, or Carol, or Carol the cat, or Milo the dog, or the dog as well. I forgot yeah. the name. Yeah, Lilac. yeah. So but she's like an unlockable character. Yeah, yeah. and there's those three different playable characters. I, before we get into too much, I wanted to say um, uh, it was my turn, so I picked this game. Uh, I picked this game because I just have heard good things about it. You know, uh, I've always seen it and thought it was interesting uh, I'm a big fan of Sonic the Hedgehog uh, I've always liked you know 2D platformers probably my favorite genre uh, so yeah I just said hey I want to play this game never got around to it so oh as always game club's the best way to just say fuck it I'm getting around to playing this game that's what we're here for yeah <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we um, you you play as one of those three characters um, gameplay very similar to Sonic the Hedgehog, like we mentioned, but it also is unique. It's not just a, a straight Sonic clone or ripoff either. Uh, no, it feels cool. like like sort of an evolution. It, it kind of feels like Sonic meets uh, Mega Man, and almost kind of. Uh, yeah, I can see that. It's yeah. like yeah, there's a lot of things. I, I I think looking at the game and playing it, there's a lot of things. I feel like it just takes uh, you know takes inspiration from like. Just 2D, like Sega Genesis games in general, right? Not just mm -hmm. Sonic. Like, I, I get a little bit of a Gunstar Hero vibe when I play it, too. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, some, like, you know, an action treasure type game. Um, and, and the game uses its 2D uh, pixel art, uh, but it it's more it's more 16-bit. Um, not like the 8-bit style, but it looks, looks good. Looks pretty... I mean, I would say... The levels look good. I yes. fucking hate the character design. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't actually see the dragon in Lilac at all. I thought she was a cat at first. Well, she started off as as a hedgehog, um, but they decided that she looked too much like Sonic and wanted to give her her own like visual flair, so they turned her into a dragon. Although it's hard to look just, at her yeah. and say, oh, yes, that's a dragon. But she, I think, um, is one of the best character designs in the game, to be fair. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she's definitely yeah. the best, but, I mean, that just means the whole rest of them are horrible. <laughs> yeah. In, in, the, in playing the game, I, I jokingly you know, would say to myself, like, to some of the character designs, I was like, yeah, these look very deviant art. But looking into the history of the game, I mean, that's literally what he did. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> he went to deviant art, and he found uh, some artists that he liked. Uh, one uh, Chinese artist named Zio Ling in... Um, got her permission to you know to use and uh, some of her character designs and she worked with him in making uh, the character designs for this game so you, you joke and say they look deviant art ish that's exactly what they are <laughs> i'm sure she's a great artist in her own right but goddamn did i not like these designs <laughs> i mean as far as sprite work goes it was really good but his design could have been a little better yeah. yeah, I mean, like, Brevin, the main uh, antagonist, mm. I have no fucking idea what he's supposed to be. I like, an alien. What is he's his face? I don't get it. He's just an alien. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> I thought he was one of the least offensive to me, at least. Uh, I mean, And the, 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 the duck guy, Tork? Tork. Oh, my yeah. God. He was real bad. <laughs> Tork Like, his was neck least... goes on forever. He was my least favorite <laughs> character in the whole game. <laughs> yeah. Well, like uh, I mentioned, Spade was the worst. It's just... I didn't even know what he was doing in the game at all. Yeah, uh, yeah. He, he, he's so inconsequential. Yeah. <laughs> it's this... the obligatory edgy character that's there. Yeah, I and... mean, they hint at like a backstory for them to have, but they never. They never explain. They anything. never go into anything. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't really do anything in the cutscenes either. He's just there. Yeah. Yeah. He's just like, oh look, he's a cool dude. And then, and then just... for like. Never for like half again. the game, he's against you, and then the other half of the game, he just suddenly becomes on your side. Like, he <laughs> figures it out. Like, oh. Like, the last okay. third of the game, I don't think he showed up, either. Yeah, I don't remember. Nope. Just, tw you only see him, like, two times? Yeah. Yeah. And he's just, like, the, yeah, the edgy, like, I was I'm a cool kind dude. I expecting it to be, like, a third character playthrough kind of thing, where he had his own story, like they do with, like, Sonic well, games. Well, funny enough. Sonic, then Hedgehog, he might be, then he, isn't he? he isn't he a playable character? He is not, but funny enough, he I was didn't... planned to be. Oh, okay. They they were going to do two two DLC releases uh, for different playable characters. So the game only has the three, but they were going to have him and Torque be playable characters in later DLC, but they decided to move on to making the second game instead. Hmm. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want to have... I wouldn't have wanted to play as Torque anyway. But... I didn't want to play as any of the other fucking characters after I beat it with Lila. I, mean, <laughs> I tried it with uh, Carol. It was pretty fun. Like, she has the motorcycle, and she has, like, uh, Knuckles kind of moveset, where she can, like, climb, climb walls, like, wall jump like and shit. Jump yeah. Thing. yeah, which is yeah. which is cool. And, and those those gas cans you see scattered around activate her motorcycle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is... And it's cool, and it's I guess... Fun. Uh, but then I, I tried Myla as well, and it was just like, uh, I have a shield... And uh, and the, the weird flutter jump like a Yoshi, and yeah. she has like uh, a a lot less uh, HP, right? Yes, she has a lot less HP. Mm -hmm. She's more like defensive. Yeah. She like picks yeah. up blocks and throws them, and has like a little like very short range beam yeah. attack. That wasn't too fun to play as. Kinda yeah, I heard she's though. like a hard mode kind of, and she also, from what I read, has unique levels. Yeah, I think so. That yeah. only I didn't only get that she far. I just did the as. first couple of levels. Yeah. Which, yeah, honestly, all of that combined is pretty cool that they give you all those options, right? Like, uh, three different playable characters, they all play very differently, and um, even, like, Mila has her own kind of, like, set levels that only she has. Yeah, that's what I want for a fucking Sonic game. Like, give me right. levels with only Sonic, only Tails, only Knuckles, that would be amazing. But right, no. right. Because, I mean, Sonic game has those three characters, and they all play uh, similar, but a little bit different. Yeah, but I actually but, like those characters. These characters I hate. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate them, but I don't... I mean, I hate them because of the story mode. Right. And I think I mean, that's that's an issue on its own. 
Uh, I guess yeah. if you want to talk about that, because the story mode in this game, because there's two two modes. You can pick story mode or classic, right? I think it is, or adventure and classic. Pick classic mode. If you're playing this game, pick classic mode. <laughs> yeah. Don't do story mode. There's no point to it. <laughs> the story means nothing. Don't do it. Yeah, especially yeah. some of the cutscenes were pretty cringeworthy. Yeah, All well, of the cutscenes. <laughs> yeah, well, the thing is that I, I wouldn't mind it as much, but the God, the cutscenes drag forever. Right, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. and and they go on for like there. I'm serious. There's like a 10 minute cutscene in between a stage one time, and you're just like, I just want to get to the next stage because like I'm playing the game and I'm having fun, and all of a sudden I gotta wait like 10 minutes to to like listen to all this. One, it's you no know, no offense to the people who did it, but you know the, the voice acting not great. It's um, so bad. <laughs> I mean, it's so bad. Like I can't tell what what age they're supposed to be. They sound like fucking children. Right. Yeah. They're all like whiny kids. I don't get it. Again, with Lilac, I think being the least offensive example of all. Yes. Like True. Wh whoever did Lilac, I think did actually a pretty good job. Like I. Lilac is mostly fine. Yeah. Um, but the rest of them were were pretty bad. <laughs> Carol, I think no. Torque. Torque was my least favorite. He's my least favorite character design and my least favorite voice actor too. <laughs> I fucking hated Carol's voice acting and Mila's. God, Mila, so I, Mila, I got right because she looks like she would fit the part of like little girl and yeah, and she's you know, like a pup. Yeah, a little puppy it makes sense. But does she have to be so whiny? <laughs> I guess she's filling a trope. Carol though looks like she's supposed to be badass to me, like like a cool like biker chick. But mm -hmm. she just her voice just didn't didn't fit to me at all. It was surprising yeah. when I first heard her talk. I was like, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so stupid because like they have these these characters that are basically children. But mm -hmm. then the story they're in is like people are getting their heads cut off and like, <laughs> yeah. like empires are falling. I don't even know what the fuck is going on. It's so it's so fucking melodramatic. Yeah. <laughs> Like it's so or you don't ex you don't expect or want it at all because no yeah you're just playing this game you want it to be like the Sonic game you know was simple a simple story that's and Sonic stories are told just through like absolute like no cut real cutscenes outside of just the sprites like doing something punching each other maybe like laughing and running away right there's no talking voice acting anything and right. and don't get me wrong you can have voice acting and that's fine but. It just is is way too much. I, I'm I'm not here for all all of this. You know, maybe there are people out there that are. You know, uh, well, I think the problem is that, like they took it too seriously. Like it's way Sonic too is serious. a sarcastic character. Yeah, like, he knows he's having he's having fun at all times. Basically, yeah. in this game, like they're crying at each other, they're like yelling at each other. Yeah. It's like I, I feel like I'm supposed to be playing like a Mass Effect game over here, or like fucking am, am I supposed to Call of Duty Story Mode or something? Because mm -hmm. there's like one point, Torque is like, he just yells at you and he's like, I won't let any of my comrades die again. Yeah. And I'm exactly. just like, why the fuck do I care about this? You don't exactly. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Oh man, and. Yeah, I think, it, and it's not even like B, where it's a B movie plot, where it's like taking the piss out of it. Like, no, I think this is—they're really trying to take it serious. Yeah, and, which makes it way worse. <laughs> yeah, it does not feel tongue in cheek or anything like that. No, it doesn't. Uh, so yes, it, at least I, I will be thankful for them. It, it's like they knew too, because they mm -hmm. gave you the classic mode where you just play. It's just like Sonic. You go stage to stage. You don't have to deal with any of the cutscenes or anything. And I wish somebody would have told me. <laughs> well, Saf tried to t like, warn us. I think he told us. Uh, did he? I think he, he told did. me by the time I already beat it. Oh, did he? <laughs> I don't remember. Right. I, w I didn't know, you know going into this that the story mode was going to have like extremely lengthy cutscenes. And, and, and also, I mean, for the point of like reviewing a game, I would have to do. I would have to play story mode. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You at least have to play it. You know, your first. You have to go for the full game. experience at least the first time. <laughs> yeah, it sucks as a full experience is worse. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, going through it on classic mode, I feel like since that mode exists, it it makes this game like ten times better. Yeah, it has to. Mm -hmm. Because the gameplay itself is is very good. Like you can, it, your the characters control extremely well. Oh yeah. 
Um, they each have their own unique set of moves. Um, and the level design is very, very good. I loved the level design because it gives you, it's just like Sonic where there's multiple branching paths going throughout the level. Like lots of replayability. I'm just, you know, as going through the levels, you would think it, when you go through it, you even notice, damn, I, if I wonder what would have been like, if I went this way and this way, you know, mm -hmm. you, you want to go back and replay the level and play through all the different paths. Um, which is cool. Yeah, the, I mean, the level design's good. It's not like Sonic where you just get hit by these fucking random ass enemies and, and completely stop your momentum either. Yeah, like you had a lot of sections where you just keep going fast. Yeah, and this game and slows like, it down a bit too. Stops, like you mentioned. It it does have parts where the where the game itself like it slows it down and there's more like concentrated platforming or or uh, combat mm -hmm. sections, and yeah. then it'll it mix knows... it up with speed. It knows when to go fast and knows when to take its time. Yeah. Like, it's, and, it's really good at that. And yep. you don't feel bad if you crash into something and lose all your rings in one shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There are no rings, that's yeah. why. <laughs> yeah. There's no rings. It has There's a health-based system instead of rings, yeah. which... Um, I kind of like the ring system better. <laughs> I do I like know. the ring system, yeah. Mm. But I also don't I feel mind like the health system can, like, Yeah, I feel like bosses can destroy you in this game. Like, yes. If you get caught by the wrong combo to boss, you're done. Yeah, it's like there's no like invincibility frames or anything, yeah. or just barely any. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can get caught in a combo. Yeah, like I only really struggled with the final boss, Revan, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. he does have an attack that cuts your half, your health in half. Yeah. Like does like four of your yeah, uh, I have four HP top to icons. Such an asshole. Yeah, but then I learned it. Like I literally only like I died like twenty times there. Yeah. <laughs> But then I finally learned his pattern, mm -hmm. and then I got him. Yeah. I am well, grateful that he, it gives you checkpoints on each of his phases. Each of the, yes. Yeah, well, I, I got to like the last phases, phase, the, and, and the first time I fought him, I, I luckily I got to this last phase just barely. And then I, when I died, I was like, I hope I don't have to do all that over again. And, <laughs> and luckily you don't. Yeah. yeah. Some of the bosses, though, I, I really like the boss battles in this game, too. I do, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I really enjoyed the boss battles in this game. Mm -hmm. Some of them are tough. Honestly. They are. And yeah. They, they, it feels rewarding when you beat them. You got um, some really cool ones. Like, I like the giant dragon thing um, yeah. that you fight and you have to kill, like, break oh, all of the scales. I thought that mm -hmm. was cool. Um, I liked the giant peacock you fight on the, on the airship. Sky Battalion, yeah. Yep. I thought that was cool too. Um, Giant praying mantis was neat. Yeah, it was just really all cool the, bosses. All, all the times you fight that serpentine guy, mm -hmm. he, he was like one of my favorite recurring guys. Yeah, well, maybe that, the only recurring the guy. Snake yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. he was pretty fun. Yeah, and like it's a lot more combat intensive than Sonic ever yeah. is. Yes. Oh, definitely. So I mean, there's definitely you you get a feeling of satisfaction by beating a boss. Yeah. Yeah, and, and because some of them are pretty hard. I died quite a few times near the end of the mm -hmm. game, near some of the bosses. I yeah. specifically had a hard time, for whatever reason, against that one. Um, it's a green robot thing, and there's like a laser behind you, and you're constantly yeah. running. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that boss a lot, though. I like that boss, too. It's super too. cool. It yeah. was cool. It, it took me, a, it took me a few, quite a few times to beat him. Mm-hmm. Like, he keeps changing forms and shit. That's, yeah. That's pretty dope. Yeah. And the and the combat is is fairly simple, but also it works out pretty well. Like uh, Lilac, for example, has um, like the cyclone where you jump mm -hmm. and you do a double yeah, jump. Yeah, the spinning cyclone around. was my favorite move. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that one did a decent amount of damage and it was probably the best one, and especially in boss fights. I, I um, can never tell if her uppercut did more damage than her regular basic attacks. I don't know for sure, but I did like the feel of the uppercut. And there was like a like a dive kick too that you could do. Yeah. And then she, and has, she has her her charging. Dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Her charging move. Dragon boost. Yeah. 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 And that was the cool. That was kind of it's kind of like the spin it dash. Makes you in invincible. Sonic. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you can't like abuse it because you do have like a meter mm -hmm. uh, that goes down. Uh, the only thing I sometimes I wish that it, it, the dragon boost didn't use your entire meter. Well, I wish the fucking Cyclone didn't use any of your meter, so you can use the Dragon Boost. Right, after. Like, I found myself a lot of situations where I'd need to use the Dragon Boost, but out of, like, instinct, I would do a double jump and use the Cyclone, and then be like, oh, yeah. shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That happened to me, like, so many times. Because you have to have a full bar to activate the boost. Yeah. 
Yeah. Kind of annoying. Right. But also, uh, with the, I guess with the Cyclone, it's probably because it's per one of our mo more powerful moves. That's probably why he uses the meter. Yeah. yeah. But even then, you can kind of spam it, because by the time you use it, it's back going back up. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think I've ever used the Cyclone in succession so many times where I ran out of a meter. Well, there are some times where, like, you need to use the Dragon Boost to get the fuck out of the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, especially in that giant Dragon Boss. Yeah. Like, so many times. Mm -hmm. And whenever he does that big laser attack, you have to, like, get up, get out. You have to, like, jump and then use the boost to, like... That, that, I think that's where it was fucking me up, because I would jump and double jump, and then I can't use the boost, and that giant yeah. laser would fucking kill you. I mean, I... It's kind of clever. I, I think it's clever, but also I wish it wasn't as annoying. Mm -hmm. There was um, a lot of the levels too. Like, uh, also, you know, go off of what Sonic does, where they each have their un like a unique gimmick, like just based on that level. Mm -hmm. And one of the ones I really liked was the one where there was these rings that would autom like give you a second boost. Oh yeah, yeah. So you can use like two boosts in succession. Yeah. I thought that was used, yeah. like, in a pretty cool way. I think that was Jade Creek. Mm-hmm. It was really cool. Yeah. He, he, man, there's so many good levels in this game. Mm-hmm. Like, Relic Maze, Jade Creek, Battle Glacier, the, all the Dreadnought stages. Yeah, I really like, all, the, like the one with, like, the Chinese backdrop, and, um, like, it kind of looked like, uh, like neon lights and, and stuff, and there was, like, slot machines. Oh, yeah, the city? Yeah. I, that, I, I mean, they all look really good. Um, yeah, they do. Like, just visually and very colorful and the backgrounds look cool and the music is is really good as well i it just it all comes together and it just is a really good 2d platformer yeah i think it's honestly <laughs> could could be like if you if you think of it as a sonic game it's one of the best sonic games easily. i think it's i think it's the best sonic game i've played in a long time yeah I, I, maybe maybe ever <laughs> that, and that's saying something. I don't know if I would say ever, but like, I mean, I, just based on the the level design gameplay. Uh, yeah, aspects, yeah. Of course. Yeah, I mean, easily could. Yeah, be, and this like, came before three. Sonic Mania too, so this must have felt really refreshing to like all the Sonic fans. Right. Yeah, definitely. Like, if I played this game before Sonic Mania, I would have been like, finally, a good fucking Sonic game. I honestly think this is better than Mania. Wow, that's 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 crazy because. I, love I can't Mania. say for sure because I never beat Sonic Man. You only play a few levels. But I did like this game a lot. Mm -hmm. Sonic Mania is a very, very good game, too. Yeah, I agree. Like, I I think the, the level design of Mania might be a little bit better, personally. Um, mm. I, I just think that Sonic the Mania just... Um, or Sonic Mania did just an incredible job um, with with how just the level design like aspect that was set up for Sonic, um, like ha just how they did it. Like I just think it was better than anything they've done before. Like I think it was better than Sonic Three. Um, Sonic I uh, Sonic Three and Knuckles is is like most people's favorite Sonic game, right? But I Sonic Two. That's also very good. I personally like Sonic 2 more than I like Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but a lot of people think Same. Sonic 3 and Knuckles is better. And then the Sonic Advance games are just... just They're good, but they're not... They have some problems with level design, too. And it's almost like, for me, they were too zoomed in, where like pitfalls and stuff became a problem. Yeah. Yeah, I really like that this game rarely does the instant death pits. Like, yeah, there was only so a couple glad. times, and in, in, in the times yeah, remember, they were there... Like, they used it very cleverly in the like the last stage with the spaceship. Where yeah, it, sucks it made sense space. that, that they was were really there. Clever. Exactly. Yeah, it was cool. It made sense that they were there, and it, it was used in just one small section. And the section was like really cool, because it was uh, Brevin, like be, being like, Oh, I'm going to open up these airlocks and try to kill you. Yeah, what Brevin does in all those Dreadnought stages is so cool. Like, when he puts it, like, he floods it with water, or when mm -hmm. he opens up the, the vents. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, I loved that. That was that was really cool. With him just being in the background and, like, being on the TV screen and over the speaker and, and you know, trying to stop you throughout the way was really, really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then um, it, I liked the fact that when he, when he uh, turned off all the airlocks, so you had no air, 
and then Milo would uh, be there. Like she would pop out of vents to like give you these like shields that would give you air. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, that was really good. Yeah, I, I liked all the bits where the the team members came to help you. Yeah, like, they even in the like boss fights. In, yeah, yeah, in boss fights. Mm -hmm. I like that too. It it just gave like a it it gave like this cool, I guess like cohesive like feeling for like all the yeah. characters. Yeah, if I didn't already hate these characters, I would like them for that. <laughs> Yeah, it just it just felt it felt nice that um, like it was like because they all have their like intertwining like stories and like levels. It just felt cool to see them all come together at a boss fight. Yeah, and work together. And Milo like dropping health on that 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 one boss battle with the robot tiger thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. which was helpful. It was one of the, I think it was one of the first bosses of the game. I think it was on that stage. You like? Yeah, yeah, it the was slot stages. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's just really cool. They do a lot of really cool things. Out, like, outside the story. <laughs> Out, yeah, especially... Yeah, only outside the story. Mm -hmm. What? So, you mentioned a couple of your favorite stages, but if you had to pick one, what was your favorite stage? Ugh, I don't know. Um... I'd probably say the spaceship. Yeah, probably. The last level? Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, that's kind of cheating because it's really four stages in one. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that that's a really good stage. I will say that the levels, honestly, are much longer, too, than a, than a Sonic game. Like, some yeah. of them are, like, 20 minutes. That's, I mean, it's great. I, I'm glad they're that long because it feels so good to play. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm glad that they were, they, they were long, too. They just... Uh, it was just surprised me, you know, just playing through the game. Here I am thinking I'm going to go through, like, like kind of like zoom through levels in like you know a couple minutes but now i'm like playing this level so it took me you know 20 to 30 minutes i was like wow and i guess it's it's not as there is a timer in the top right corner of the screen but it's not as focused on like uh speed runs but i think if you were really into speed running this game also like is is set up in a way where you can speed run it too mm -hmm. mm. Oh, I want to point out too. This was interesting to me. There, you have lives, but the lives are completely pointless. Oh yeah, they are. Because when you get yeah. a game over, you can just hit continue. Because I was so afraid when I first run out of lives. Right? I was like, yeah. shit, they're gonna make me restart Same, the man. whole stage. Maybe at the last boss. Yep. And then when you hit continue, it just starts you off exactly where you were. And I was like, there's no point in the lives anymore. What the hell is the <laughs> point? Why? Why are they even there? Yeah, I don't know. That's true. It's very weird. I had, like, stocked up, like, 20 lives or something, and they just all vanished, and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, it, apparently it doesn't matter at all. Like, there's just no point in it. I just think they shouldn't be there if there's going to be no consequence, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And even one time I put the controller down, and because I, I died, and I got a game over, and I, I was like, oh, I'm going to look at my phone real quick, and I forgot there was, like, a timer on the game over screen. And it ran out. It ran all the way down, and I was like, "Shit!" I was like, "Oh no, I'm gonna have to probably start that whole stage over again." Nope. I hit continue, exactly where I was. I was like, "What's even the point of the timer?" <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's it's, real dumb. Yeah, it just it didn't make any sense at all. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's the point. Just don't even have lives if you're gonna do that. Yeah, it's very strange. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of things to collect, right? Like there's those like those yin yang symbols, and I don't know what those yin yang symbols. I have did. no idea what they do. Yeah, I I think the the collectibles because so the are also the cards with the numbers on them. Yeah, not sure like what those did either. Areas. <laughs> there's and there's these bonus stages you get at the end of the levels where you like get to like hit these dice. Yeah, to see if you get extra lives or like a shield or something. Yeah, yeah. but it's We're... like. I, well, I thought they were more important because the items that you collect for the bonus stages are like elemental spheres. Yeah. Like they have electric, fire, water, whatever. And I thought it was like, oh, maybe this unlocks like a special move or something. You have to collect it enough, like become supersonic or something. Or in this case, super lilac. Actual transform into a dragon would have been cool. Um, She's but, a water dragon. <laughs> doesn't look like one. <laughs> but um, yeah, like I thought originally that those items were more important, so I was like, 
and they were scarce too, like only if you defeat enemies or something. And it's just like, until like half the game later, when I finally got a bonus stage, I was like, oh, okay, that's what those are for. Mm -hmm. It's just yeah, really you weird. Get, I, I don't know what the cards do. And Why I, would and they I, use elements for that kind of thing? I, I yeah. don't know. I, 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 <laughs> I didn't get most of the collectibles, but at least it felt good when you got them. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I didn't care cool. about the collectibles. It was a hundred and something. I got... I don't even know how many I got. I just, whenever I saw them, I was like, ooh. Yeah, I would go for them when I, if I saw them. I would try to get them. But I never, I never actually figured out what they do. I'm sure they, if they do do something, I, did, we all apparently didn't figure it out. So if, if like somebody I'm not knows, a collector anymore, or as not as <laughs> as much as I used to be. If it was like when when I was younger and I wanted to collect everything 100% games like I used to, I'd be like, oh no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if somebody does know what they do, tell us in the comments because I have no clue. And I kind of want to know, but I'm also too lazy to look it up. So if you can tell me in the comments, I don't care at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do. You know what I did notice when you you can get like invincibility power ups, and those power ups that power up lasts fucking forever. It does last a long time. <laughs> like, oh yeah, yeah. Which I kind of like because a lot of games like you get invincibility and it's like gone and like like that. It's just Ten like oh, see you almost. later. Yeah. It's also this, nice that the, the shields that you get take two hits to dissipate. Yeah, it's not one. just one hit. Yeah. I did like that. So you don't too. have like that incident where it's like, oh, I got a shield, and then just randomly <laughs> step on a spike by accident like two steps later. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. And I like that the shields do different things, kind of like Sonic 3. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like one of them's a magnet for like the gems. Yep, just like the electric whatever. one in Sonic. And the blue one uh, lets you breathe in the water. Yep. The red one, I don't know. What, I think it. I think I think it gives damage when I, I think it gives damage when people touch you. Okay, I was I think there might have been one that absorbs projectiles, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Mm. I do like too that the enemies when you run into them, it's not a, like instant damage. They have like they have to attack you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like where Sonic is, you touch something and you you no matter what you you get damaged by it. But this game yeah. like you can run through enemies. As long as they're not doing their attack animation, you don't get hurt. I definitely yeah. appreciate that a lot. Yeah, yeah imagine win a game where you have to go fast exactly. and running past people. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. It's a great design choice in terms of mm -hmm. uh, speedy gameplay, which I, I like a lot. That's where I give it. Uh, I give it a step up from Sonic gameplay, uh -huh. like for sure. And the Dragon Boost feels good when you're in a tough, tight spot, and you're just like, I need to get out of here. And you just mm -hmm. use it to like zip away and get out of like. A, I like that it bounces off walls too. I like that too. Yeah, and you can use that to like kind of ricochet yourself up in certain areas if you're like yeah trying to get up somewhere. Well, yeah, they they build puzzles around that too. Yeah. Yeah, near, yeah, especially near the end when you have the the things with the double boosts. Yeah. It's super cool. Yeah, and there's like cool sections where you just running away from like, um, you know boulders or giant beams and you know chase almost like chase sequences that are that feel pretty good too yeah but I, I oh, like man i like the spaceship where there's just that one section with this ginormous fucking laser beam just keeps coming down and you have to get through it like you have to keep kind of crisscrossing when it's off mm -hmm. and it's like it's very tense when you're trying to get through it there's like one spot where you barely get up before that thing yeah. goes off again yeah, I think I died there like a few times. Yeah, I did too. And I, I liked the challenge of, of getting through it. I thought it was really cool. Everything about the fucking, the Dreadnought is real, real good. Mm -hmm. I mean, what a good state. What a good series of stages. Mm -hmm. Great way to, to close out the game. Because we, we played some games where they they just somehow fuck it up at, right at the end. But this game... They didn't do that, not, at least not in terms of the gameplay. What games are you referring to? Off the top of my head, I can't think of one. Uh, oh, Mark Cree, that's one. Ah, uh, fucking knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Leave that game alone. Look, there's plenty of games, though, that we played where the end kind of takes a shit, you know? Yeah, Second Sight. Yeah, Second Sight, that's another one. So, I'm, glad, I'm just glad that this game didn't decide to take a shit right at the end. Story, it took a shit the whole so game. It's good. Well, but yeah. <laughs> gameplay wise didn't dig a shit once, which is great. And, and the best thing about it all is that, like Frank we mentioned, you can just say, oh, the story sucks. Well, you can skip it. 
the, the yeah. game just gives you that option, which is fucking just awesome. Just pretend that there is no story. Yeah. You'll have a great time. Trust me, you really will. All right. Uh, so, you guys got anything else that you need to add that, uh, in terms of uh, gameplay, graphics, music, anything else, else you want to add? Um... Yeah, I hate the story. Yeah, pretty much. Just wanted to make sure you wow. knew that. I, I didn't gather that from... <laughs> from beginning to end, I fucking hated it. Yeah. The dialogue could have been written a million times better. And the voice acting is real bad. Yeah. The dialogue could have just not existed. Yeah. Or if it was going to exist, it could have just not... One, not have been as long. Two, not have been as fucking dr over dramatic as it is. I feel like they solved so many problems from Sonic games, and then they added a few of their own. <laughs> it feel it feels like exactly the jokes like they made were like oh my god it's so, <laughs> so stupid it it really feels like I'm reading Sonic fan fiction when I'm when I'm <laughs> watching the story like it, that's really what it feels like because like I feel like there's so many people out there that think like the Sonic story is way more serious than like it actually is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that tragic love story between Shadow and Maria. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, to, yeah, I mean, to, Sonic's, to Sonic's fault, it also gives that example off. It makes people think that, too, especially in some of the later Sonic games, like the 3D ones, where they're, like, trying to force a story and they make it too serious, like Sonic 06 or Sonic Adventure 2. Yeah. Just why? I mean, fuck. <laughs> Stop trying to make Sonic serious. Yes, please. I, and with with Freedom Planet 2, we'll see. Do, do they keep it as serious? Who knows? I did watch a gameplay trailer, though, and uh, looks fucking cool. Graphics look better. Uh, gameplay looks neat. There's more playable characters. You get to play as that uh, panda warrior girl who has, Don't like, panda. A, <laughs> she has, like, um, her, like, spear can, like, shoot beams and stuff, which looks, yeah. looks pretty neat. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean... Freedom Planet 2, I'm, it's, now it's a game I'm really looking forward to playing. Do the um, character designs look better? Um, they look... They honestly, yeah, I mean, the sprite work, everything's re redone up. So everything looks nicer. Uh, they have new outfits. Uh, they look, like, taller. They don't look as, like, compressed in their sprite work. Um, yeah, I don't know. Take, take a look at it. I think, it honestly, it does look better. In my opinion, so um, mm. I'm looking forward to it. Even if even if they keep the story uh, too much of a focal point, um, I regardless I'd be looking forward to just the gameplay, you know. And yeah. Christian Whitehead of Sonic Mania fame himself is uh, also helping on this game. So well, they, I don't know what that is, but I'm excited. It's uh, Christian Whitehead's a guy who. Uh, uh, the head, you know, developer and director of uh, Sonic Mania. So he's the guy oh, okay. who, um, gotcha. Who who was making Sonic fan games himself, and the Sega Sega went to him and asked him if they could, if he could port uh, Sonic CD to mobile. Um, hmm. So you and use the engine that he built. So he did that, and then he went on to make Sonic Mania. So he's also in, uh, helping with uh, Freedom Planet too, which is really cool. It's like. You know, two of the biggest names in Sonic fan games are, are working together, which is which is fucking cool. So, yeah, that sounds cool. Yeah. All right. Well, it's uh it's time for the uh, recommendation. So we forgot to do it at the beginning, so we're gonna do it right now. Um, and now that we've already <laughs> all talked about it, I think you might already. Oh no, know. we didn't talk about this. We didn't give them a spoiler warning. <laughs> I think they'll be okay. <laughs> we also didn't just... really talk much about the story. Which, you know, because we don't, because it was bad and we didn't want to, so. Here's the real spoiler warning. Fucking play the classic mode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, we really didn't even delve into the story at all. And, and for good reason. I don't even want to talk about it. Because it's hot too. garbage. Yeah. Uh, so, here we go. Recommendations. Uh, I'll start. Uh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. I mean, you've heard what I've had to say already. And uh, I would definitely play this game. If you're a fan of Sonic the Hedgehog, fuck yes. If you haven't played this and uh I, even if you're not just play in classic mode it's a fucking it's a fucking good video game uh ills um yes i would uh best sonic game i've played in a long time uh worst story i've played in a few months so <laughs> there you go 
right. Uh, you must have played something bad a few months ago. Fucking uh, tulip. All right. <laughs> Why you ask? You knew the answer. All right, uh, Noah. Uh, yeah, one hundred percent. Uh, Sonic fan or not, it's a really fun, uh, fast-paced game. Uh, just have a blast just running through the levels. Even if you're not, like, really concentrating on what's going on in the background, it's still really fun to play. Feels really nice and smooth. Uh, but, yeah. Unless you're very extremely curious, I would rather, I would suggest play the classic, not story mode. <laughs> Alright. And, uh, now it's time to put... Freedom Planet on the list. The, the list. list. We follow along with the list in the paste bin uh, link below. Uh, every every single game club episode, we add what we played to the list. It's ongoing and will never end. Um, gonna take a look at it here, and it's I picked the game, so I'm going to look at it and kind of decide where I think it should go. Um, and first thought, for me at least, is uh, somewhere at least in the 40s, maybe 50s. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know how you guys are feeling, but I'm thinking somewhere somewhere around that Where area. Where we put Sonic Mania? Sonic yeah. Mania is at 36. number 36. Hmm. So pretty high um, on the list it is. But, I mean, I, I don't know if this is good as... You know, I don't know personally for me if this is as good as Sonic Mania. Um, well, I, 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 I think the fact that Sonic Mania doesn't have a story to uh, weigh it down, is, yeah, <laughs> it puts it clearly on top on top of it. So. Uh huh. Um, I mean, but to be fair, this game you can play it without the story. Yeah, but I option, mean, the but... fact that is the fact that it exists at all is. A mark against it. Uh -huh. Maybe you should go near Shovel Knight, because like, I feel like Shovel Knight kind of like took inspiration from Mega Man and like did it its own twist to it and everything. This is a very similar situation where it took inspiration from Sonic and did its own thing too, and did mm -hmm. it pretty well. I mean, I would say that Shovel Knight it might be better than this, especially Shovel Knight Treasure Trove as an entire package. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's true. It's a shit ton more content. Yeah, it's I would like put it below. I would put it below Shovel Knight. Um, Donkey Kong Country though, I th I mean, I I'm Donkey Kong Country one. I I think there could be a case to be made that this could be better than Donkey Kong Country one. Hmm. This in terms of two uh, D platforming, it obviously it doesn't hold the candle to two. And I'll go out on a limb and die on this fucking limb where I think Donkey Kong Country three is even better than the first one too. <laughs> in, in terms of level design, it definitely is for me. Okay. But I can't agree or disagree because I never beat the Duck Country. I only played like a few levels. Yeah, you should play it. Either. You should play it. It's a really good game. Um, Pick it for the game. club. <laughs> Pick it for the club. I've beaten that game like multiple times. I don't know if I want to so? pick it. You pick it. You haven't played it. I got my own picks. Don't All worry right, about well, me. Fuck you. I'm not picking that game. I've already played a it's bunch of It's probably already on this list. No one can pick it. <laughs> no one can pick it. Yeah. It's right here. Like, you if you're a Patreon. Now you know what Ills wants to play if you have a month where you can't think of anything. Donkey <laughs> Kong Country 3. I didn't say I wanted to play it. Wait, you... What? Okay. <laughs> You're trying to mix it. I never you. said it. I never oh said those God. words. Whatever. Anyway. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think, uh, you think it's better than Donkey Kong Country? Uh, I'd personally put it below Donkey Kong Country. Um, I would put it... I would put it maybe right above J.J. Macfield. Or maybe, like, right above it or maybe right below it. Right above J.J. Macfield. Oh, yeah, 57. Okay. Wait, when the fuck did you guys add Super Mario Sunshine? A couple weeks Not ago. That long you got it without me? God damn it. Pretty, yeah, pretty recent, actually. Yeah. I would put it above Super Mario Sunshine for me. Mm, no. <laughs> Super Mario Sunshine, below Sunshine is a fucking mess of a game with, as a 3D platformer. Outside no, no, of the no, no, areas no. without the flood. Actually, but you know what? The flood so is often. better. Because Mario Control is very slippery in that game. I mean, it's a game with full of water, so... <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's what I would put it. Below Sunshine. Brandon? I'd put it above Sunshine, like I just said. I mean, if I was... In terms of platforming, I would put this game above Sunshine. Um... 
Shit. Also, Terra Enigma's there. God damn it. Um, I would put it above Sunshine, I guess. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... I mean, I feel like I'm okay with it being below The Walking Dead. And, and I haven't played SteamWorld Dig, but I've heard really good things, so I can't you really say it. So. You're going to play it. Don't I'll, worry. I'll play, I'll play it soon. Uh, so that would put it at number 56 on the list. Um, yep. 56 out of 157 now. So It's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, or surrounding it would be number 54, SteamWorld Dig. 55, Telltale's Walking Dead Season 1. Uh, 56 is now Freedom Planet, 57 Super Mario Sunshine, and 58 The Missing J.J. Macfield and The Island of Memories, which is also a game that we played on the Game Club. And in fact, it pretty we played it pretty recently. Yes, uh, it, we did. It was a pretty good game. So, in fact, I would say that's a really good game. Uh, mm -hmm. So I would definitely check out that episode uh, if you want. I'd say that's a really good episode to listen to. So, um, yeah, check that out. Um, and... Thank you guys for listening. Um, before we go, though, I just want to tell you guys a, a couple things, of course. Uh, that if, if you enjoyed uh, the Jump Up Supercast Game Club, make sure you check us out on your favorite podcast listening service of your choice, including SoundCloud, iTunes, and YouTube, uh, where new episodes of the Game Club will go up every other Thursday, as well as the normal Jump Up Supercast episodes every single Monday. Give us a follow a like or a share and feel free to let us know what you thought about freedom planet in the comments below uh support you know, go ahead and support us if you enjoy uh what we do on uh patreon uh where you can you can uh, be a patreon for one dollar a month you can get the chance to choose one of our game club games every single round uh which is coming up pretty soon so i if you if you jump in quick enough i think within like the next uh what four weeks you'll be able to maybe two i can't remember Four weeks. Two weeks? Two weeks <laughs> from this episode when you listen to it. Two weeks, you uh, can pick. You get a chance to pick what we're playing. So uh, if you're interested in that and also supporting us, that would be amazing. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram to stay up to date on everything Jump Up Supercast related. Uh, you can even catch us streaming from time to time on twitch.tv slash Jump Up Supercast or in 2020. Uh, we have some some big plans in terms of streaming, and sometimes that's where we do rank a mania and stuff too. So, uh, if you like you the list, I have no heard of these plans. Well, Muzzy's apparently going to play every horrible game on the list. <gasps> yeah, we'll tell you about that later. Uh, <laughs> um, probably on the next episode of the Jump Up Supercast, and, and we'll fill it all in. <laughs> uh, but uh, as always, uh, I want to thank uh, Noah and Ills for for playing this game. Uh, for joining me, and uh, for even more importantly, I want to thank you guys for listening. Um, Ills, it's uh, your turn. I know you're excited, as you always are. Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Uh, so, what did you pick for us to play now? Alright, it's the first Game Club game of the year. We're Sorry. swinging for the fences. We're doing it big. It's, it's uh, club pick number 50. So This is a special time, you know? Special mm -hmm. pick for a special guy. And uh, we're going to be playing Mother 3. Get ready. Oh, oh baby. Oh, is there, there's an English translation? There is. Oh. It's a good one, too. Oh, man. Hey, I can knock that off my list. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, well, awesome. Well, we're going to be playing uh, Mother 3. And, uh, oh, man, I'm excited for this. Uh, so join us in uh, two weeks where we talk about Mother 3. And uh, mm -hmm. we'll also reveal the Patreon Game Club game. So that's going to be exciting. It's going to be a good-ass week. Uh, so, everybody, thanks for listening. Go out there, play some video games, and be nice. <laughs>